it seems like Capcom is going back to its roots by releasing its arcade version first before pointing it to the home consoles like the good old days in the 90s how it was released in the arcades before pointing it to the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Gear, etc. This is exactly what it feels like when I see this article so we're gonna dive into this so let's get to it. How on the heels of the release date announcement comes the announcement of an arcade version of Street Fighter 6. Tatio is working with Capcom on the development of the upcoming fighting game's debut. No concrete release date was given for the arcade version, though Tatio says that it will come out in 2023. Nice. More details about Street Fighter 6 were released recently via Twitter at the Game Awards show. The trailer show off some gameplay including peaks at several mini games. It also gave first look at the game's iterations of DJ, Manon, Marissa, and JP as well as showing more of some of the previous announcement characters. Additionally, it was recently announced that the game would be sold in three editions, Standard, Deluxe, and Ultimate. Pre-ordering any of the three versions will come with outfit, one color, 10 for six characters. Those who spring for the deluxe edition will also get the year one character pass, while those who grab the ultimate edition will get the year one ultimate pass. What either of the passes contains is certainly unknown. Now, let's get back to this part right here where it says, if you pre-order these three versions of the game, you're gonna get all three versions of character from season one pass, which I believe, which is crazy, but one outfit. So does that mean that we're gonna get the official costume from Street Fighter VI along with the game if you pre-order the deluxe edition? This is huge. This is really huge, y'all, because as a Street Fighter fan, I might want this myself, but I don't think I want the deluxe version. I'll just get the standard version you know with the manual and all of that but I don't see myself doing cosplay unless I'm fit and healthy but you won't see me in a costume no time soon but I do appreciate what Capcom is offering us like this is really good to be honest with you and yes it's gonna be coming out on the PS4 even though I would prefer to play on the PS5 even though I don't have it yet but I might get it sooner enough you never know so it's, like I said, Capcom is going back to its original roots by releasing the arcade version of the game before porting it to the home consoles of the PS4, PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. And if Sega and Nintendo would still be around, like the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, I wouldn't be surprised if they released the Street Fighter 6 on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I would have imagined how the music of those versions would have sound better than your modern versions on the PS4 and 5. Just imagine that. So if y'all want the article down below, I'll see you later.